Hi everyone, today we're going to be showing you how to install mesh on solar panels. So the big reason that you'd want to put mesh on a solar panel is to keep birds and wildlife out from underneath them. Uh, they can be a nuisance, they can nest under there and they can cause damage to any wiring. Uh, it's also helpful to be able to keep leaves and any other debris um, from building up underneath the solar panels. So we've got our solar panel mesh kit and we'll talk through what you actually get in the kit. So depending on your roof type, we've got different components to suit. Uh, we've got a great online tool, uh, which you can go through and that'll help you make sure that you get the right components for your roof. Uh, you can also give us a call and we can talk through it with you. So some of the things you get, uh, you'll get some screws uh, for fastening the mesh to the roof. You'll get some of these, uh, which are the hooks which hook underneath the solar panel, and you'll also get these clips, which we're going to use. I'll show you how to work those in a moment. So that's how to fasten the mesh to the solar panel. You're going to get a roll of mesh, whichever one you end up choosing. You're also going to get some of these corrugated profiles. This is for fastening uh, the mesh to the roof side, and or you might get some of these saddles. Depending on what material mesh you've got, steel will tend to come with these, aluminium will tend to come with those. Uh, and the other bit you'll get is this sort of trim, which we're going to be using on the vertical lengths of the roof. So, let's get started with the install. The things you're going to need, you're going to need a drill with a nut setter, like this one. That's like a socket bit. That's going to be for the screws. You're going to also need a tape measure, and you're going to need some snips. So first, trim the mesh for each edge. Here, we're going to start at the front. So measure the horizontal length of the solar panel array. Our demo rig here is only really small. It's only 1.6 meters. So yours is likely going to be longer because you're likely going to have more than one solar panel. Then we're going to grab that measurement and add it to the mesh width. So the mesh width, which we're using here, it's 300 millimeters wide. And we're going to add that two times to cater for the overlap at each end uh, of the solar panel array. So what we're going to do We've got our mesh width, 300 millimetres, so we've got 300 millimetres plus 300. Uh, we're going to add that to our original 1.6 metres, which is 2.2. So now that we've got the mesh up here, you can see the overlap we're going to have around the corners. This is why it's so important to get that mesh width uh, added to it. Next, we're going to install our hooks. We want to put these about three hooks to every metre. You can see the little hook on the underside here, which we're going to use to grasp underneath the solar panel. Just hook them under the extrusion of the solar panel. Uh, you'll see it and you'll feel it as you hook in underneath it. Next, you can see the post of the hook here. Measure the distance from the top of the panel to that little post. For this solar panel, it's about 50 millimetres. So we're going to poke it a slightly bigger hole in our mesh, uh, about 40 millimetres down from the edge of the mesh, just so that it sits nicely. Now, on this mesh, we're only poking a hole because we're installing two millimetre mesh here. Uh, and that little post is a little bit bigger than two millimetres. If you're using a larger aperture mesh, you probably won't need to poke a hole in it at all, so that makes things easier. So we're just marking out a few positions here for poking the holes. Uh, again, it's about three for every metre. It doesn't have to be perfect because the hooks can slide left to right really easily, so we can always adjust it afterwards. To snip the holes, we're going to use some snips and we're going to open up four squares together. So where you've got four squares, we're just going to sort of snip that middle strand and it will give us a bigger hole. Now just lift the mesh up and push the post of the hook through the mesh hole you've made like this. Even it out by hand, get it sitting all nicely. And then we're going to put our locking discs on. Just pop them on and you'll feel them pull into position. Do them up halfway and then at the end you can always come through and tighten it up uh, really well once everything's sitting really square. So now we're going to put on the corrugated profile. Um, or if you're using aluminium, you'll be using a saddle and we'll have another video to check out there. If you're installing on the lower side of the solar panel like we are here, we're going to be putting the profiles in this orientation, but if it's the top, we're actually going to flip it. So just go through, position the profiles and screw them down. 
the profiles overlap each other just a little bit, so we've got good coverage, and it also provides a little wiggle room uh, either way to cater for small dimensional differences in the corrugated roof. Just make sure the mesh is covered by the profile nicely. Now we're going to cut the mesh for the side runs, for the vertical runs, should I say. It's the same thing as before. We measure the vertical height of the solar panel, or the solar panel array. In this case, it's 800 millimetres. And then add the width of the mesh to it twice. So again, we're using a 300 millimetre roll. So we can add two times 300, add that to the 800 millimetres, and then that takes us to 1.4 metres total. And remember, we've just got a tiny, tiny example of our solar panel here for this video. So our numbers are definitely on the small side. So we're just gonna place the mesh here on the vertical run, and you can see how the mesh overlaps. And I'll show you how to deal with the corners soon. Just pop the mesh hooks under the solar panel, again, at three per meter. Again, because we've got two millimeter mesh here, we've trimmed the inner square to give us a slightly bigger opening. Now we're going to trim or mitre the mesh for the corner. We're gonna start roughly in line with the peak of the corrugation, since we'll be fastening to the peak of the corrugation afterwards. Leave about 50 millimeters for the overlap. It's better to leave more, as you can always trim it back later as required. And at the top, we're gonna to leave a little square here to wrap around the solar panel to give us good coverage. Now just push each hook through the mesh like we did earlier on the horizontal side. Now that we've got it sitting nicely, we're gonna be putting the locking clips on. Since we're gonna be putting a trim on the peak of the corrugation afterwards, trim the mesh to about a centimetre past the top of the corrugation. Uh, this way we know it's gonna finish nice and flush. We can always trim it a little bit more if necessary. You can see here how the edge of the mesh is nicely aligned with the top of the corrugation. Now, install the trim. It's actually the same part which you might have used to install gutter mesh on an eaves gutter before. But today we're going to be using it upside down and it works perfectly to finish the mesh off. Now we'll complete the miter on the overlapping mesh here. Again, give yourself, make sure there's about 50 millimetres overlap and remember you can always trim it a little bit more afterwards. We're notching out a couple slots here to make it easier to fold the mesh over because that mesh is curving on two axes. Now we're just gonna use the screws to stitch the mesh together. Just go nice and slow here. The screws are gonna pull through really easily and you don't wanna uh, over torque the screw and then rip a hole in the mesh. You can see we've got a gap in the mesh here, so we're gonna cut a profile down to fit it perfectly. Just use the snips to cut it here, and you can see now that we've got our two fingers, it's gonna fit really neatly. Then just screw it down, and the corner's finished. At the end, just come through and trim the spindles from each of the hooks. Leave a centimeter or so at the most, um, and also just give them a little tighten up, uh, or tighten them to where you think they're sitting really nicely just before you do that trim. And that's it. Just repeat the other sides of the solar panel array as necessary and you're done. So if you're looking for any other installation tips uh, or any other information about solar panel mesh or mesh in general, feel free to jump on the website or get in touch with us. Thanks.